clear what I'm showing you here is um, people were asking about the uh, radiant oscillator tubes that I did a while back. These are uh, built into an MG15024 transistor. And uh, I'm going to show you one run here. So I'm going to show you the supply. Okay, so there's the waveform on the oscillator, and I can adjust the voltage. So we're at a half a half right now, which the tube is designed to do, and we're at 10 volts, so there's 12 volts. Okay, so we're just a little bit over a half amp. There's the waveform. And there's the battery going up. So I don't understand why uh, people are having such trouble making the oscillators work to charge batteries. But anyway, here's an explanation. But anyway, this is the tube. And it's built in to this MJ15024 transistor. And you can see that on the wave form that it's the oscillator and then it's through this diode it's hooked up just like the SG circuit so here we go and you can see the battery is going up it takes a while because it's a dead battery but you can see it moving up and it's actually pretty quick so actually what I developed this for was for the solar panels so that they would work in low light and uh, I'll be talking about this more on the energetics form and on the uh, science form I did talk about it on the energetics form and now I've moved to the energy science form so that's my home and uh, we can talk about it there and how this was built but this is exactly what's in the patent on the oscillators for charging batteries in the moonlight and pulsed operation so thanks for watching I just wanted to show you that show you one more time there's the tube hooked up wires are to the supply the 12 volts and you can see it's raising quickly here so there you have it anyway one more look at the tube it's built into the transistor and uh, it's charging this this is an 18 amp hour battery so it's doing it just fine barely any heat at all on this device because I can hold my hand right there on the case so anyway short little video on it thanks for watching